This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good morning, Rabbi Sai. Bruchem Abam to the Kailal Igor de Perka. Here in Kew Garden Hills. Okay, so uh, as Yom Tov of Rosh Hashanah is approaching, so uh, we have one more Monday morning share after uh, this week. And this morning we're going to explore an amazing halachic Indian, Nagar Rosh Hashanah, but something from this halacha we could bring out a very important new site. And that is the Chayodam tells us in Klal Chaf Dalet Halacha Yud. Chayodam was um, Ram Danzig, one of the great um, Paiskim in Gedalia Yisrael in the times of the Vilna Gain. And uh, Chayodam actually was a Balabas. And he writes in his Hakdama that um, I believe that in his days, Balabatim Nebuch, they only learned three hours a day. So, you see how, uh, how times have changed. <laughs> but, Chayadim tells us like this. Bracha, Gimel, Nikra is Kedusha. The third bracha of Shemon Esri is called Kedusha. Kedusha Sashem. Shehi Ata Kadosh. V'choyseim Hokel HaKadosh. V'im Ta. V'siyem HaMelech HaKadosh. In other words, if you're in the middle of the year, we're not talking about Aser Simei Shuba. We're talking about a regular day. Let's say today, instead of saying HaKel HaKadosh, you got confused by the art scroll sitter with the gray. Your eyes were attracted by that gray HaMelech HaKadosh. And you said HaMelech HaKadosh, you don't have to go back. Uvasaras you made tshuva, Messiahim HaMelech HaKadosh. Yeah, so far so good. During Asaras you made tshuva, you say HaMelech HaKadosh. V'im ta v'siyem HaKel HaKadosh. If you made a mistake. So im nizgar b'tach k'day divor v'amar HaMelech HaKadosh. If you said Baruch HaTashem HaKel HaKadosh. HaMelech HaKadosh. You're good. Yatsa. But if you said, And then you dribbled and you daydreamed for a few moments, and then you said, You're down the tubes, you got to start over. What if you're not sure? What if you're uncertain? Did I say, Did I say, Maybe I said, I'm not even sure what I said. So then you have to assume you said what you usually say. If you're not sure what you said, so you'll say, well, maybe we know that whenever you're Mesopic, if you said something, there's always a technique to, to sort of uh, make sure that you said the right thing, and that is you say it 90 times. Maybe the guy should say, And this way, if he's ever unsure, the answer is you can't do that because you can't say Hashem's name for nothing. What are you going to say? Baruch Hashem. You can't say Hashem's name. Just to say Hamelach Hakadosh, Hamelach Hakadosh, Hamelach Hakadosh, that that doesn't do anything. You have to say Baruch Hashem. Okay, so far so good. This, these are halachos we all know, right? Every year in yeshiva, you come to yeshiva, they teach you the same halachos. So if you forgot Hamelach Hakadosh, nobody knows anything about Dalaminim because you're still learning the halachos of Hakelach Hakadosh, Hamelach Hakadosh. But that we know. But there's one halacha now that the Chayi Adam brings down, which is a real whopper. Vehagoin, Moireinu harav aveli fasvalar. Okay? We're now going to learn the famous halacha of Rabbi Aveli Fasvalar. Who's Rabbi Aveli Fasvalar? He lived from 1836. He passed away, excuse me, in 1836. He was born in 1762. 1762 to 1836. Four years after the Goin, the Vilna Goin, passed away, he was appointed the Av Bezdin of Vilna. So he's the Mamala Makoim of the Vilna Goin. At the age of 40, he's, always, he's already recognized as the God of Hadar. In the times of Chaim Velazhner, in the times of Chai Adam. Rabbi Kiv Eger quotes him in the Chuvas. There's an amazing story about him, Parshas Chukas, on the Yaznaim Latayra, that the Yaznaim Latayra heard from his father-in-law, Rabbi Lazer Gordon Ayin Shah. Okay, this is an amazing halacha of Rabbi Veli Fasvalar. He says, Adin Mechudosh. You ready for this? If what if the first night of Rosh Hashanah, you say, um, Right, you say, And you say the whole thing, the whole thing, and you say, The first night of Rosh Hashanah. So we would all assume, we, of course you have to repeat over the Shemana Esrei, you missed the Melch HaKadosh. So says Rebbe Veli, Fasvala, Shem Ta, 
the low Rosh Hashanah of Layomer Amach HaKadosh, Enoi Tzarech Lachzar. You don't have to call back, like Rabbi Stephen said, Kedin Ta Vlehizker Yalav Yavai Belel Rosh Chodesh Enoi Tzarech Lachzar. The same way if you forget Yalav Yavai the first night of Rosh Chodesh, or even the second night of Rosh Chodesh. You don't have to go back. Why? Because everybody knows that even though it is Rosh Chodesh, but nevertheless, the Bezin is not Mekadesh, the Chodesh, until the morning. morning. And therefore, so too, it's not yet Rosh Chodesh. Bezin did not yet say, today is Rosh Chodesh. So by the same token, they didn't say it's Rosh Hashanah. So if you say, HaKel HaKadosh, Imken Gam, Belel, Rosh Hashanah, Hadin Kain, She'ein, Tzarech, Lachzar, Ad kan l'shayin hagoyin. The amazing psak of Rabbi Veli Fasvaler is that if you say Hakel Hakadosh during any other day of a Sersi Mechuba, you're up the creek without a paddle. If you say Hakel Hakadosh Yom Kippur, forget it. You say Hakel Hakadosh Tzem Gedalia, forget it. You say Hakel Hakadosh the first morning Rosh Hashanah, forget it. But if you said Hakel Hakadosh the first night of Rosh Hashanah, you don't go back just like anybody who didn't say Yalav Yavai the first night of Rosh Chodesh. That's a Goyna stick of sack. Also, also uh, during the Marev, you mean? Abu Sayyid Mechub? Only during, Marev. no, only the first night of Rosh Hashanah. What about the Marev? It's also, no, 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 no. It no. doesn't start the following morning. Then. No, no, no. Yeah, once, once Bezdin in the morning of Rosh Hashanah proclaims it's Rosh Hashanah, so yes. now we get the whole, oh. the whole game started. We have now Rosh Hashanah, the yeah, second day, the, but until you, until kickoff, Kick-up doesn't happen until the morning, like right? So therefore, you don't what have... What about the second night? Second night, we'll discuss. So far, all he says is... Rosh Chodesh also you don't repeat. In the second he doesn't night. say first night, second night. You could use your logic. We will discuss what about the second night. But right now, the Psak of Rav Aveli Fasvaler, which no other Paisik brings down, no one before him, not brought down in any Rishon, not the Rambam, not the Rif, not the Rush, not in Rashi, not in Toysus, not in any of the Noisei Kelim and Shulchan Aruch, not the Mogin Avram, not the Taz, not the, nobody, no one before Rabbi Veli Fasvaler ever brought up this Halacha, that if you forget HaMelech HaKadosh, you don't have to repeat one essay, until the great Rabbi Veli Fasvaler, who probably, before this morning, none of us ever heard even one psak that this Golan Bishol ever sent. Now, do we accept this lahalacha? Oh. It's brought down in Chay Adam. Very often, the Mishnah Bura, if not in most cases, the Mishnah Bura usually will quote the Psak of the Chay Adam. Do we paskin like this? Is this a logical Psak? Comes along. The Shaila Sechuvas Mayim Chayim. Shaila Sechuvas Mayim Chayim of Reb Chayim Rappaport, an Achroin. And he questions this Psak. And he maintains this psak is 100% wrong. No, not 99, 100%. <coughs> and that is like this. Well, what, uh, number two. Number two. And Rab, the Mayim Chaim, Rab Chaim Rappaport's question is going to be from a psak of Rabbeinu Yoyna. Question. What if the first night of Rosh Hashanah Instead of davening the Rosh Hashanah de Ketfila, you daven the Tfila Schoel. Maybe it's better. Maybe you should say, by the same logic. The same way if you forget Yalav Yavah the first night of Rosh Chodesh. Because Bezin was not Mekadesh the Chodesh yet, you don't have to read Shon Esrei. So too well... Uh, Forget about HaKel HaKadosh. Why are we only discussing if someone said HaKel HaKadosh instead of HaMelech HaKadosh? Why don't we discuss a more basic case where a guy did not dive in the Yom Tov the Kishman Esri. He dive in the Chol the Kishman Esri. Says Rabbeinu Yoyna. Okay, Rabbeinu Yoyna, one of the great Rishonim, HaMesach Tabrachos. Rabbeinu Yoyna brings down a Machloikes Rishonim between him and his Talmidim regarding someone who dive in a Vacha the Kishman Esri the first night of Rosh Hashanah. Says Rabbeinu Yoyna. Look in number three for a minute. The Istim Farshi. Did Davka Bishar Yamim Taivim? Only on other Yamim Taivim, where if you say a Vacha Dikashman Esri, you have to repeat. Avo be Yamtav Sharash Hashanah, but on the Yamtav of Rosh Hashanah. Kivan Shetaloi Bereish Chaydash. Since Rosh Hashanah is dependent on Rosh Chaydash. Im Taf, you made a mistake, Vlai Hisko Shal Yamtav Ba'arvis. Ain Machzirin Aisa, you don't have to go back. The Kurosh Chaydash Daninale. We treat it like Rosh Chaydash Venucha Loimer. 
I want to say, okay, fine. That's the sack of Talmud Rabbeinu Yana. That forget about if you said Hakel Hakadosh. Even if you dive in the weekday Shemana Esrei, the first night of Rosh Hashanah, you don't go back. Venucha loimer. However, says Rabbeinu Yana, Sha'af al Pisha Taloi Baruch Chaydash. Even though it is the pen of Baruch Chaydash, Kivan Shu Yamtiv. Since once, oh wait a second, is it Yamtiv tonight? Yeah. You are wearing Yamtiv clothing? Yeah. You do Melacha? Of course not. Umitzas Yamtiv Alima. Right? It's Kivan Shu Yamtiv. Umitzas Yamtiv Alima Tfei. Yamtiv is stronger than Rosh Chaydash. Rosh Chaydash does not create Isra Melacha. Sheish for Isra Melacha. Mashein came Baruch Chaydash. Uvitfilab. Now, don't make a big deal about the fact that Rosh Hashanah is dependent on Rosh Chaydash. How dependent is it? Do you say one word about Rosh Chaydash no. in the Shemana Esrei? Do you say, Zochreinu Hashem Leikein, right? B'yahayim. Hayyayim Hazikar. B'yahayim Hazikar. Is that Uviyayim Rosh Chaydash? You don't say one word about Rosh Chaydash on Rosh Hashanah. Why are you medamed this to Rosh Chaydash? No, because we're trying to say the same way if you forget Yalav Yavoy. So too, if you dive in a vacha de kishman esrei, because it's dependent on Rosh Chodesh. Says Rabbi Yehuda. First of all, it's stronger than Rosh Chodesh. Rosh Chodesh does not create Isser Malacha. Yom Tov creates Isser Malacha. Second of all, you don't say one word about Rosh Chodesh and the Shemana Esrei. Gam ken ein onu maskir in any Rosh Chodesh klal ella in yin Yom Tov. Says Rabbi Yehuda. So now, when you want to know the tefillah of Shemana Esrei of Rosh Hashanah, compare it to Rosh Chodesh. Or compare it to the Yom Tov Shemana Esrei of Pesach. Okay, that, that's the issue. Here you have put up in, the, in front of you the Mariv of Rosh Hashanah. And you want to know, is it comparable to a Mariv of Rosh Chodesh? Or is it comparable to a Mariv of Pesach? So Rabbi Yaina. It has nothing to do with Rosh Chodesh. You're not saying a word about Rosh Chodesh and Rosh Hashanah. Number two, it, there's an Isra Malacha, just like any other Yom Tov. Therefore, it is more reasonable to compare it to the Yom Tov Shemana Esrei of Pesach then to compare it to the Rosh Chodesh Manasseh. Yoyser, yesh, lanu, ladun, oysa, kemay, yamtif. It is more reasonable to compare it to yamtif. Mi ladun, oysa, kemay, Rosh Chodesh. Vim lo hizker be'arvis me'ein yamtif machzir an oysa. So therefore, says Rabbi Yoyna, bottom line, that if you dive in a vach adikish Manasseh, the night of yamtif, what do you do? You go back. Why? Two reasons. It's more, like it's more like Yom Tif than Rosh Chodesh. A, because you don't say anything about Rosh Chodesh in, the, in Rosh Hashanah Shemana Esrei. And B, there's an Isser Malacha. Rosh Chodesh has no Isser Malacha. So comes along the Shal Tshuva Mayim Chaim. And he says the following. When did Rabbeinu Yoyna entertain a possibility that you could get away with not mentioning Rosh Hashanah? That's if you dive in a Vacha Dikah Shemana Esrei. So he brings down Tamidi Rabbeinu Yoyna say if you dive in the weekday Shemana Esrei you don't go back. Rabbeinu Yoyna personally feels if you say weekday Shemana Esrei you, you do go back. But did Rabbeinu Yoyna ever discuss the case of a guy who said Hakel HaKadosh? A Yom Tif Dikah Shemana Esrei and Hakel HaKadosh? He never discussed that. Oh, excuse me? I'm, uh, in, other words, in other words like this. Rabbeinu Yoyna is basically saying explicitly that if you dive in a weekday Shemayna Esrei on Yom Tif, on Rosh Hashanah, you go back. So too, if you say Akel HaKadosh, you go back. Says the Shal Tzachim Mayim Chaim, listen carefully. How could Rabbi Beli Fasvaler say that forgetting HaMelech HaKadosh is like forgetting Yalav Yavoy? Rabbeinu Yoyna says explicitly, if you dive in a weekday Shemayna Esrei, the night of Rosh Hashanah, you have to go back. Why? Because Rosh Hashanah Shemayna Esrei is more comparable Yom Tov. to Yom Tov than to Rosh Chodesh. So that means the case closed. How could Rav Eli Fasal and Achroin even drum up the possibility of not having to go back if you say HaKel HaKadosh? The Rav Yoyna already said that he feels that the Shemayna Esrei Rosh Hashanah is more doimeh to Yom Tov than to Rosh Chodesh. Yeah? Everyone, everyone up? Yeah. Everyone alive? Right? So, what, well, the question is, what's Rabbi Bailey Fasvaler's psak over here? How could he entertain the Basel? Well, you don't have to go back. Rabbi Noyana said explicitly, if you dive in a week, Tishman asks, right? You gotta go back. But the Talmudian say no. Okay, so I mean, said, bottom line, we're passing like Rabbi Noyana. Uh-huh. Right? Bottom line, what's the halacha? If you dive in a weekday Shemana Esrei, the night of Rosh Hashanah. 
back. You gotta go back. Yeah. So if that's what we paskin, so we should paskin if you forget, Hamalcha <laughs> Kali Yosef to go back. Look at number two. This is the Shasachus Mayim Chaim questioning the Psak of Rabbi Aveli Fasvaler. He says, The Hagoyin Moreno Rabbi Aveli Fasvaler, Amar Khan, Din Machodosh, Sheim Belel Rosh Hashan Olayam Ramel Chakodosh, if you don't say Machakodosh the first night of Rosh Hashan, Sheim Sarch Lachsar, Mitam Sheim Makach and Achodosh Belayla. Says Rabbi Chaim Rappaport, Excuse me, Rabbi Aveli, with all due respect, you forgot Rabbi Noyana. Benishalti. Oh, you're right. Ben Aflazi. It's a one. It's a pella. Dishtamilu de Rabbi Noyan perak beperak tefilas hashachar. Rabbi Veli forgot an ofena Rabbi Noyan. Vehuva beveis Yosef. Beveis Yosef paskins is always shoynoi. You bring Rabbi Noyan. Yeah, Rabbi the Beis Yosef says is the mefarshi the dafka b'shayim. Ah, we don't know Rosh Hashanah kimin shetov Rosh Chodesh in Masa in Tav lai hisker shal yamtiv for Arvus ain machzir no. He said the Rosh Chodesh then in lie. But Rabbi Noyan says and brings down the Beis Yosef v'nu chalay ma shafa pishetov Rosh Chodesh kimin shu yamtiv for mitzvahs yamtiv alima tfei sheyish ba iser melacha ma shein came for Rosh Chodesh. You don't, you don't, uh, there is no Isra Malach and Rosh Chodesh. U betfila gam kene maskirin in Rosh Chodesh klal. Ela in yon yamtif. Yoyser yesh lanu ladon oisai kemai yamtif mi ladon oisai kemai Rosh Chodesh. V'yim, lai hizker, ba'arvis, me'ein yamtif maskirin. I said, got it? Beis Yosef paskins like Rabbeinu Yoyna. That if you dive in a weekday Shemon Esri on Rosh Hashanah, you gotta go back. So ask the Mayim Chaim, Ad kan l'shon of Beis Yosef, Hare mifurash, Shaloi Kidvarov. Deim loy hizker ba'arvis me'ein yamtif dimach zir and I say. Says the Mayim Chaim. If Rabbeinu Yoyna paskins that if you dive in a weekday Shemon Esri on Rosh Hashanah you gotta go back. Then of course he would paskin if you say Hakel HaKadosh the first night of Rosh Hashanah you gotta go back. But who had din? HaMelech HaKadosh dimach zir and I say. Dezil basar tami. Just follow the logic. Follow the reason. In other words here you have uh, Rabbeinu Yoyna. Rabbeinu Yoyna was analyzing the following case. What if a guy said a week day Shemana Esrei on Rosh Hashanah? Do I compare it to Rosh Chodesh? Or do I compare it to Yom Tif? So what did he compare it to? Yom Tif. So if you compare it to Yom Tif, and you have to go back, by the same token, if you want to know, should you say, do you have to say Hakel HaKadosh? Do you have to go back? Do we compare it to Rosh Chodesh where you don't have to go back if you didn't say Yal Yavai? Or do you compare it to Yom Tov, that you do have to go back if you missed the Yom Tov Dikash Manasseh? Wouldn't, Rab, wouldn't Rabbeinu Yoyna say he has to go back? The same way a weekday Shemona Esrei, you got to daven over. So too, if you say Hakel HaKadosh, you're going to have to daven over. No, but, but here he mentioned the, the name of the Chag, of Yom Azikaron. He mentioned Fine, but he, didn't, he just said Hakel HaKadosh. But Hakel HaKadosh is something you name. normally have to go back for. The same way regarding the weekday Shemana Esrei, we say, we're not comparing this. We're not going to use the logic of, well, Bezdin wasn't Makadish the Chodesh yet. No. When it comes to Yom Tif, we say, Yom Tif, it's Yom Tif. You know, I'll do Malacha. Right? When it came to the issue of what happens if someone says a weekday Shemana Esrei. Yeah, but according to Rabbi Yonah, he didn't mention it all Yom HaZikaron HaZer. Correct. Here he mentioned by... Uh... So well, what's the difference? What's the difference? Why, why so didn't Rabbeinu Yonah say... Because he didn't mention, so we have to go back. Why right? didn't Rabbeinu Yonah say... Look, um, why didn't Rabbeinu Yonah say that the same way in Rosh Chodesh, even if you don't say a word about Rosh Chodesh, you don't go back at night, so to Rosh Hashanah. Even if you don't say a word about Rosh Hashanah, you don't have to go back. The answer is Rabbeinu Yonah feels, it's not like Rosh Chodesh. It's like Yom Tif. And you can't use the Svara of, well, Bezdin wasn't Makadesh the Chodesh yet. So if you can't use that svara of Bezin wasn't Mekadosh the Chodesh yet, same way you can't use it for the Shemona Esrei, you shouldn't be able to use it for HaMalach HaKadosh either. That's question number one. Question number one on Rav Aveli Fasvalar is, it's against the Psak of Rabbeinu Yoyna. And as great as Rav Aveli Fasvalar is, he can't argue on Rabbeinu Yoyna. Question number two, there's the question of Shal Satchur's Beis Halevi. Yeah? It says the Beis Halevi... I have less of a problem that you're a steer to Rabbeinu Yoyna. You want to argue on Rabbeinu Yoyna? No problem. Maybe you hold like the tummy there, Rabbeinu Yoyna. Even though Beis Yosef doesn't pass like that. But your psak is even worse than the psak of the tummy there, Rabbeinu Yoyna. Says Rabbi Salevi, I would prefer somebody say a weekday Shemayin Esrei 
Then to forget, Hamelch HaKadosh. You know why? If you say a weekday Shemun Esrei, so you'll just say, well, Bezdin wasn't Mekadesh the Chaydesh yet. But this guy said the whole Rosh Hashanah Tefillah. He said, Right? There are three V'cheins. You know that? There are three V'cheins in the Shemun Esrei. Beis Yosef says they correspond to Ma'achi Yosef, Reino Yosef, And each one corresponds to a different one. So you said the whole Rosh Hashanah Dikr Shemana Esrei. Now you're saying Hakel HaKadosh? You know what that's called? Tati Desasri. The whole Shemana Esrei is completely meaningless. Where are you? Where? Sir, it's are you alive? Country. What are you saying? Where are you? Are you in Rosh Hashanah? You're in a weekday? You're in your own world? Planet Mars? What planet are you on? You're saying, uh, at a, you're saying, you're saying the Rosh Hashanah Dikr Shemana Esrei. You're ending off like the weekday. Where, what day of the year are you on? What day of the year is it? No, Veterans Day. What, what, what day is it? He says, says the Beis HaLevi, if I could hear if a guy said a weekday Shemun Esrei, he doesn't have to repeat. Because maybe Bezdin wasn't Mekadosh yet. That's what the position of the Tamidim Rabbeinu Yom that we don't pass him like. But even worse than that is to say the Shemun Esrei of Rosh Hashanah and to say HaKel HaKadosh. It's a Tarti Desasri. That's the second question on the Psaq of Rav Elifasar. I could understand if a guy forgets Yalav Yavoy, so it's not Rosh Chodesh yet. For him, he didn't make a Rosh Chodesh because Bez didn't make a Rosh Chodesh. But this guy made a Yom Tif. He's davening a Rosh Hashanah to davening. How could he say Akel HaKadosh? That's uh, the Kasha of the Beis HaLevi. In Hashan Sechuvah's Beis HaLevi, Chelek Aleph, Simnam Beis, he says, Masha Kasa Vesefer Chai Yodam Hilchas Tfila, Din Mechudosh, Dim Loi Amar HaMelech HaKadosh Ba'arvis Laila Rishon Rosh Hashanah, Dein Machzir and Oisai, Ukumai V'yal V'yav Rosh Chodesh in Mekach HaKadosh Ba'layla. Right? That was the Psaq of Rabbi Veli Fasval. Says the Beis HaLevi, you should know, that Rabbi Veli Fasvaler would never entertain the possibility that if the guy davened the Rosh Hashanah Dikr Shmona Esrei, he doesn't have to repeat the Shmona Esrei if he says a Kelakadosh. Because that is a Shmona Esrei in no man's land. That's a no man's land, Shmona Esrei. Da de Sarazu lo Shayach Elab de Hispalel Tfila Shachol Lagamri. This would only be possible if he davened Atachin in Ladam Das, and he davened Hashivinu, and he said Al Tzadikim, Al Chasidim. But a guy who says and he's going to say Akel Hakadosh, the guy doesn't know if he's coming or going. So therefore, says Rabbi Salevi, we're going to have to limit Rabbi Veli Fasvaler's psak to the isolated case where the guy davened the whole week day Shemana Esrei but if the guy davened the Rosh Hashanah Dikr Shemana Esrei so you know the guy has to go back he doesn't, he doesn't know where he is he's not on planet earth this guy right so these are two kashas on Rav Aveli Fasvaler number one number one he's against Rabbeinu Yoyna because Rabbeinu Yoyna says that if you daven a week day Shemana Esrei you go back because it's more doyme to Yom Tif than to Rosh Chodesh and number two <coughs> It, it would seem to be a tarti disasri. <coughs> now look in the Sharat Sion of the Mishnah Bura. The Mishnah Bura writes, You want to know, do we paskin like Rabbi Veli Fasvaler? Hine b'chai adam hevi b'shem agoyin moreno Rabbi Aveli Fasvaler shem ta b'leo Rosh Hashanah v'layomar hamelech hakadosh she'ein sarech lachzar kedin ta v'layhizgar yao v'yovay b'leo Rosh Chodesh she'ein sarech lachzar machmas Shein Makachan Achash Balayla. Says Rabbi Salmer Akain. Ulani as Daiti Loina Hira, I do not agree with Rabbi Veli Fasvala. Dezer Hoyashayech, like the Kash of the Beis Alevi. This would only be Pasam Hoyam Espal Tfilas Choyel. Mashain came Bezer, but this guy, Shem Espal Tfilas Yomtuf, Miman of Shachin a Yotze. If we say, sir, you know, first we give him, you know, uh, alcohol test. You know, we tell we are you under the influence? No, okay. So we say, sir, what's today? Do you know what today? You know, how many fingers? One, right? So he got that. Then we say, what? You know, what's today? It's today weekday. So why do you say v'chein tein pachticha? Today's Rosh Hashanah. Why don't you say hakel hakadosh? Miman of shachin yotzer, right? Says the Mishnah Bura, but maybe, maybe, maybe we're talking about a case like this. 
Shenizgar takev shasiem hakel hakadosh. You know what the Chiddush of Ravili Fasfaller is? The guy davened a weekday Shwanas, right? No, the guy davened like this. He davened Ata Gibral Hashem, Ata Kadosh And then he, he forgot, he said, Baruch Hashem Hakel HaKadosh. So now, you know what Ravili Fasfaller says? Instead of going back and repeating Shon Essay, continue on now. Since you already basically made a mistake and said, Hakel HaKadosh, so now we say, look, we don't want you to say Tarti to Sasri, so go ahead and continue on. Even, meaning like this, even though, of course, L'Charchila, Right? Like whose opinion? Like the Tamid Rabbeinu Yaina. Even though the Tamid Rabbeinu Yaina were only saying that if you did it b'dieved and said chal your yoytze, Rav Eli was saying more that lechadchila. If you said okay al kodesh, that's what you should do. But again, that, that's a very dochik psak because since we don't pass them like the Tamid Rabbeinu Yaina, why would Rav Eli Fasvaler be siding with Rishonim that we don't pass them like? So therefore, bottom line is, it would seem that we do not paskin, at least at the eleven fifteen in the shear, which is supposed to be the three quarters part, but it's only halfway through. <laughs> um, at least in eleven fifteen in the shear, it would seem that we do not paskin like Rav Eli Fasar for a number of reasons. Number one, because Rav Enu Yoyna paskins that you, if you say the weekday Shemana Esrei and Rosh Hashanah, you have to go back because it's more doyma to Yom Tiv than to Rosh Chodesh. And then you have the Kasha of the Mishnah Bura and the Beis Halevi. It's a Tarti de Sasri that if you sing the the Rosh Hashanah the Kishman Esrei and you end Hakel Hakadosh. So you don't even know you don't know what day of the year it is, and that's what we have over here. What is the opinion of the other Rishonim besides Rabbeinu Yana? These are that they that's don't it. discuss, right? Right. It's Rabbeinu Yana and Tamid Rabbeinu Yana. Oh, yeah. And therefore, bottom line is we have the Stechemed writes, the Al Kopanim, Hadin Noisein, Kamei Shatoifis Hagoyin, Dim Lechasam Belal Rosh Hashanah Bahamel Chakadosh Chodzer. Stechemed Paskins not like Rav Avi Fasaler that if you said Akel Chakadosh. You got to go back. And Lemaisa, I have over here on the sheet, Sefer Kuntras Shirei Halacha, from Shmuel Felder, so one of the Paiskim in Lakewood. He puts out a Kuntras, one of the Paiskim today. He writes, Lemaisa Roy Vachoinim, do not hold like the Chiddush of Raveli Fasvaler, and the Mishnah Brod doesn't hold like it, and therefore, bottom line is, you should go back. Not so fast. Not so fast. Right, right now, Rabbi Eli Fasfaller is very doichik. Right, we have two questions. Number one, Rabbi Nuyoyna says if you dive in a weekday Shwanesa, you gotta repeat it. Why would a Kalakos be any different? And number two, it's a Tarti de Sasri. If you're davening the Rosh Hashanah de Kishwanesa, how can you say a yeah. Comes to the scene, Shaila Sachubas Binyan Shlaimai, and the Igrois Moshe says the exact same Svara. Ga'oyne ga'oynas. Unbelievable. To defend the psaq of Rabbi Eli Fasfar. Again, Rabbi Nuyayna said it's not like Rosh Chodesh. Rosh Chodesh, there's no Esr Malacha. But on, on, on Yom Tif, on Rosh Hashanah, there's Esr Malacha. So it should be like someone who damned Yom Tif Tikash Manasseh. Comes along. The Shazash of Binyan Shlomai. Who is that? Rav Shlomai Akoyin Mi Vilna. The author of the Cheshek Shlema, in the back of every Mesech, you have Cheshek Shlema. Shlema Kayan Mi Vilna. And, um, if I'm not mistaken, the, the Rashiva and the Mir, Rav Nachum, Rav Nachum Partzavis, was a descendant of the Shal Shuvah Spinyan Shlema. And in fact, he, uh, he was involved in publishing the, this version of Shal Shuvah Spinyan Shlema. And he says, that everyone missed the boat in understanding the psaq of Rav Aveli Fasfaler. Oh Rav Aveli Fasfaler doesn't mean that just like on Rosh Chodesh, if you forget Yala Yava, you don't have to go back. Because Bezdin did not proclaim it Rosh Chodesh yet, so so too Bezdin did not proclaim it Rosh Hashanah yet. 
Because regarding that argument, you'll say, but bottom line, is yamtif is yamtif, and there's an Isra Malacha Balayla, and therefore you can't say it's comparable to Rosh Chodesh. You know what Rabbi Veli Fasfaler meant? Rabbi Veli Fasfaler meant what the Gemara says in Masechta Rosh Hashanah, and that is, and that is, we know Rosh Hashanah is Yayim Hadin. Bezdin Shomayla convenes. When does Bezdin Shomayla convene? In the morning. Bezdin Shomayla does not convene until the Bezdin Shomata convenes. And when does the Bezdin Shomata convene? Bezdin is not Mekadesh the Chodesh until the morning. So therefore, is it Yom Tif? It's Yom Tif. Is there an Isra Malacha? There's an Isra Malacha. What Shemayin Esser do you have to daven? Says Rabbi Yoyno, you better daven the Yom Tif to Gershman Esser. Because it's a thousand percent Yom Tif. Not a hundred percent Yom Tif. A thousand percent Yom Tif. But wait a second. Is God yet the Melech HaKadosh? Is He the King? Is He the Judge yet? Not so fast. He doesn't become the Melech. Of course it's Yom Tif. On Pesach it's also Yom Tif. But He's not the Melech. Yes, you can. Chazal say, God is not, does not say, sit on the Kisei Din until the morning. So regarding every other aspect of Shemana Esra, it's Yom Tif, it's Yom Hazikaroin, it's Yom, it's, um, we ask the Chveinu L'chaim. But if you want to know, when do we have to proclaim, God is HaMelech HaMishvat, you're not Mechuyiv yet, yeah, it's better to do it at night because it's Yom Tif, but it's not Ma'akev until the morning. Yeah, Rabbi R- 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 fast I didn't mean to say, well, just like Rosh Chodesh, it's not 100% Rosh Chodesh until the morning, so it's not 100%, no, it's different. Rosh Chodesh is not, is not proclaimed until the morning. Rosh Hashanah is already Rosh Hashanah at night. But there's one aspect of the day that does not come into fruition until the morning. And that is the Malchus, the, the Midas Hadin, the Mishpat. That's and that is not Ma'akev, Tainas, Rabbi Veli Fasva, until the morning. Why? Because take a look at number 9 on your sheets. Tan Rabbana. Ki Chokli Yisrael Hu... Mishpat lelokei Yaakov, melamed shein bezdin shamayla nechnasin ladin elam kein kidshoy bezdin shamata sachayde. So you have ninety nine people who are davening and saying a melech kadosh, and one outstanding and saying a kela kadosh. Isn't he wrong? Yes, but he doesn't have to. Be, what is he's it? wrong, but he doesn't have to pitch my nesser. Why not? He's wrong. The rest of them are right. Well, what if he forgot zachvenu lachayim melchavetz v'chayim? Is he right or wrong? He's wrong, but he still doesn't have to repeat Shemana Esra. It's not Ma'akev. Why is HaMelech HaKadosh Ma'akev? It's Ma'akev because you must say God is sitting on the Kisei Din. He's not sitting He's not there yet. Yeah. What's higher? A Melech or a God? A God is higher. Right. But what is the ten days of Rosh Hashanah called? Kuro V'yosikarov. So HaKadosh Baruch comes down from being a God to being a king. Okay, good. Very good. But the, the point, the point of the Binyan Shlomoi is that Rabbi Veli Fasfala was not invoking Rosh Chodesh. Well, just like the Bezdin did not proclaim it Rosh Chodesh, <coughs> so too they didn't proclaim it Rosh Hashanah. No. Rosh Hashanah is different. Rosh Hashanah is Yom Tif. Regarding the Isra Malacha, it's already Isra Malacha from the night. But regarding the limited, isolated issue of HaMelech HaKadosh, that does not become critical until the morning. Take a look in the paragraph. Why, um, why, why until the morning? Well, what's the because the, the, morning? Ma, the, the din does not play, take place until the morning. It is Rosh Hashanah. It is Yom Hazikar. Well, why, 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 why not? Because the Bezdin Shamayla does not convene until Bezdin Shamata could convene so down here. So how does say to say Amelech HaKadosh? If this is the case. Because That's the, the Allah, no? The, the answer is, because today is Rosh Hashanah. And Rosh Hashanah is a day that God is a Amelech. When, exactly when? In the morning. Exactly when in the morning. In other words, it's a day of Hashem's Malchus. You want to know exactly when? Tomorrow morning. Right? A day that something happens, the whole day is imbued with that flavor. And therefore it's appropriate to say HaMelech HaKadosh. But in terms of when it's absolutely critical, only during the morning and not the night time. So take a look. He quotes the question of the Shashuz Mayim Chayim, that it would seem to be against Rabbeinu Yoyna. Right? It would seem to be against Rabbeinu Yoyna. Because what did Rabbeinu Yoyna say? That if you dive in a weekday Shemona Esri, the night of Rosh Hashanah, you got to go back. 
So well, wouldn't we also say, if you say, Akelakaj, you got to go back? And also, we'll throw in the question of the Mishnah Bru and the Beis HaLevi, it's Tarti Desasri. How could you say, V'chein Tein Pachtecha, and say, Akelakaj? The answer is, it's not against Rabbeinu Yonah at all. Rabbeinu Yonah was talking about someone who davened a weekday Shemon If you daven a weekday Shemon the night of Rosh Hashanah, then you have to go back. that's wrong! Because it's Yom Tif. There's an Isra Malacha. It's not similar to Rosh Chodesh, similar to Yom Tif. But now the, the question at hand is Hamelach Hakadosh. The Yom Nam Lani is Daiti Nira. The Divrei Hagoyin Marenu Harav Avram Fasvaler Shririn Vikayomin Umeirin Kashemesh Mitzarayim. It's strong. It stands. It illuminates like the sun. Ve'enoi Inyan Klal the Divrei Talmidei Rabbeinu Yoyna and Rabbeinu Yoyna has nothing at all to do with the price of tea in China. With this issue. Rabbi Nuyan was talking about a guy who says a weekday Shemanasa. Of course you can't say a weekday Shemanasa. Vahu, behektem hatam, shatiknu chazal loimer, hamelch hakadosh, hamelch hamish vasos mechu. Let's get. Why do you say hamelch hakadosh? Hago ba'atzmacha. Do you say a hamelch hakadosh on soim gedalia because it's yomtif? Why do you say hamelch hakadosh on soim gedalia or on the fifth day of asos mechu? Because it's yomtif? Of course not. It's because He's Hashem is the Melech. He's, He's sitting on the chair. He's sitting. It has nothing to do with Yom Tif. It's not a Yom Tif Dika Haisafa. It's a, it's a Sersi Mei Tshuva Dika Haisafa. It's a Mishpat Dika Haisafa. Oh. Well, the Mishpat doesn't begin yet. The Mishpat has... Do you do a Mishim Shem Yimei Din U Mishra Kishbar Hu Shoyfed Az Az Kala Oyim Kloi U Mizeh Atam Nami Tikna Cham Loi Mar Pesukei Malchios Binei Kfar Shanina Bebraisa Ki Choyk L'Yisrael Hu we only know God judges the Jews. So we don't say that we don't say that we don't say that we don't say that we at what, when, when could we say for certain God is Hamelech HaKadosh? In the morning. But, but, but the guy didn't say Hamelech HaKadosh at night, but he said Rosh Hashanah. We asked the guy, hey, do you know what day it is? It was Veterans Day? It's not Veterans Day. It's Rosh Hashanah. It's Yom Tif. So why don't you say Hamelech HaKadosh? Because God, God's not on the throne yet. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Hamelech HaKadosh is not Midin Yom Tif. It's Midin Mishpat. Because even though Yom Tif came, So if this is the case in the second night, you have to go back because you're already sitting on the chair. That's the second paragraph, right, right. Or do we say, Sveika de Yoma, maybe the din is no, happening it's tomorrow? It's not Sveika de Yoma. Ah, so says Rav Shloima. And Rav Shloima, I call him Ivilna, he also says like this. <laughs> he says, Veda, Shinistapakti, Shamladas, Hagoyna Nal, Hecha Dinim, Shachach Leimer, Amel Chakaj, Vel Shenish Rosh Hashanah. Do we say, well, just like by Yala V'yavoy, if you miss it the second night, you also don't have to go back. So too, if you miss Hamel HaKaz, you don't have to go back. Dami, the Shah Rosh Chodesh. Because by Rosh Chodesh, the second day of Rosh Chodesh is the Iker Rosh Chodesh. By Rosh Hashanah, the first day is the Iker. Why? Because Elul is always... Chaser. So it means we're ready. days. Right? And certainly, according to the Svar, that we already started the din, so, so then it would be. Then you already started the din. So yeah. what happens? Hashem, uh, musical chairs. He comes ah, off the chair, on the chair. No, no, no. Once you're on the chair, he's on That's the chair. Sarachion. He's he's a Sarachion Ladino about the second half. But again, if I were to ask you at eleven fifteen at the midway point of the shear, I said that it would seem that Avili is not correct. That, and that if you forget Amal HaKadosh, you would have to repeat Shemana. Yeah. Now we have the Binyan Shlomo defending him and saying he's correct. And he, he's putting him in very strong standing. Very strong. Very strong. And now, especially, well, you say, well, let's weigh. Certainly, Rishon HaKadosh Mi Vilna, but normally in Psak you follow the Mishnah Brura and the Beis Halevi. Uh, and especially, well, but wait a second. They're saying to repeat 
Shema Kain Vilna is saying, don't repeat Shema Nasrei. So he's on the side of Suffolk Brachas Lahakel. So now it's not so Pasha what you should do. But still, probably we would say, follow the Mishnah Bura. Comes of Moshe Feinstein. Uh-huh. And he says, and he wrote this in 1929 in Luban, Russia. Wow. 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 That he agrees wholeheartedly with Rabbi Veli Fasfa. Why? He's agree with him. He agrees with him. Wow. For the same Svara of the Binyan Shlomai, that he didn't mean to invoke, that just like Rosh Chodesh, it's not Rosh Chodesh in the night yet, because Bezim wasn't Makadesh, so too it's not Rosh Hashanah. That's not what he meant. It is Rosh Hashanah. There's an Issa Malacha. What he meant was, Hashem's not on the throne yet. <laughs> he says, look, look at number 10. He named the Talmud Rabbeinu Yoyna. He brings down the Shailah, that son who davened. The weekday Shemana Esrei and Rabbeinu Yoyna felt that what? It's more comparable to a Yom Tiftika, to For example, if someone davens a weekday Shemana Esrei on Pesach, of course he would have to go back. So too, if someone davens a weekday Shemana Esrei on Rosh Hashanah, he would have to go back. It says Rav Moshe, look in number 10, Igris Moshe, Archaim Chelek Al of Simon Kuf Ayin, that the seventh line, Ulani as Daiti Yesh Loichiach Oed Miza. Listen, this is unbelievable. Here you have Machlikas Vishayim. Tamidi Rabbeinu Yonah say, if you dive in a weekday Shema Esrei Rosh Hashanah, you don't go back. Rabbeinu Yonah says, you do go back. Says of Moshe, I'm going to chime in into this Machlikas Vishayim. I feel that if you dive in a weekday Shemana Esrei the night of Rosh Hashanah, of course you have to go back. Is what you say? You I feel you do have to go back if you dive in a weekday Shemana Esrei. You know why? Oh, no, because it's Tali and Rosh Chodesh. That was the argument of the Tamir Rabbi Yonah. No, Pesach, we're not discussing. It's not Tali and Rosh Chodesh. It's not Rosh Chodesh. Rosh Hashanah is only Rosh Chodesh. Right, so listen. Says Rabbi Moshe, here's a guy, second night of Pesach, yeah? Let's say he dive in a weekday Shemana Esrei. Does he have to go back? Or do we say, it is a weekday, the only reason we say Yom Tif Tikash Manasseh is Minagav Yisena B'yodeinu. No. Do you have to go back? Of course you have to go back. Why? Because if you're not going to go back, you're going to be Mazalza on the Yom Tif. So says Amisha, so you don't think the first night of Rosh Hashanah, if a guy says a weekday Shema Manasseh, all the more so, it's the first night. Of course he's, you're going to have to go back if you say a weekday Shema Manasseh. But if you say only Akela Kadosh, Okay, one second, one second. The Yik Shemizeh says, Amosha, this is a kasha on the Chayodah, who brings down the psak of Rav Avili Fasvalar, that if he made a mistake in Aris of Rosh Hashanah, and he didn't say Amel Chakadosh, says Rav Avili Fasvalar, you don't have to go back. And the Chayodah says, this is a Din Mechudosh. And what did the Chayodah mean? Because this is against Rabbeinu Yoyna. Says Rav Moshe, I have a stronger kasha on Rav Veli Fasvalar. And that is, if you're going to say Hakel HaKadosh, you're going to come to be Mizalzal in the Yom Tif. Says Rav Moshe, no. Tehanochoin la'aniyaz daiti tevadai beloi hizker shal Yom Tif ba'arvez yizru gam ha-Rav Veli Fasvalar ba'achayodim k'Rabbeinu Yoyna shemazirin. Rav Veli Fasvalar agrees to Rabbeinu Yoyna. If you say a vacha de gishman, that's Rosh you have to go back. But if you don't say Hamel Chakadosh, you don't have to go back. Bahatam, to Isa Bar Rosh Hashanah Davches, Melamed Shein Bezdin Shomayla Nechnasin Ladin Elam Kain Kitshu Bezdin Shomat as a Chodesh. Lachen Meyachas Shein Mekach Chodesh El Biyoyim Ein Nechnasin Ladin El Biyoyim. And this is why we say Hamel Chakadosh during Asher Sime Tshuva. Rashi in Brachos says an Afiyah Beis Lefisha Biyamim Elu Hu Mare Malchusai Lishbredes Ha'Olam. But the first day of Rosh Hashanah, that Hashem has not entered Ladin, why not? Because Bezin was not Mekadesh the Chodesh yet, then Be'etzim, you don't have to say Amal HaKadosh, only L'Chadchila. Why L'Chadchila? Because the same way you do say L'Chadchila, Yalav Yavai, the night of Rosh Chodesh, even though Bezin wasn't Mekadesh yet, because... At the end of the day, it's Rosh Chodesh. So too, Rosh Hashanah, Hamelch HaKadosh. Says Rav Moshe, this new, innovative, creative dinner of Eid, Fast Valor, Nachon, 
Benimsaladina. That if you don't say Yom Tif on Rosh Hashanah, you go back. And if you don't say Amel Chakadosh, you don't go back. Wow. Says Rav Moshe, I argue on the Mishnah Bura, and I argue on the Shas Shuvah's Beis HaLevi, and I argue on the Shas Shuvah's Mayim Chaim. I hold like Rav Shalom HaKoyim Vilna, like Rav Eli Fassbaler, that if you don't say Amel HaKadosh, you don't go back. So now you're in big trouble if you forget HaMelech HaKadosh, the first night of Rosh Hashanah. So what are you going to do? You say, I follow the Mishnah Bura. And Mishnah Bura disagrees with the Rav Eli Fassbaler, and the Mishnah Bura says to go back. Yes, usually we would follow the Mishnah Bura. Mishnah Bura, Chazay Nish writes, whatever the Mishnah Bura says, it's like it emanated from the Lishka Sagazas. But here, you have Rav Eli Fassbaler. You have Rav Shalom HaKadosh, Hey, Rav Moshe! So you say, with Mishnah Bura against Rav Moshe, maybe usually you could be entitled to follow the Mishnah Bura, but the Mishnah Bura is telling you to repeat Shemayin Esra. And Rav Moshe is telling you, don't repeat the Shemayin Esra. So you got yourself into a major problem the first minute of the year. Can you imagine? The first moment of the year, you're already in mud. So what should you do if you, don't, if you forget Amal Chalash? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Don't, don't, move. Move. don't, don't forget. I would say don't. don't nothing. Shona doesn't discuss don't this. Don't move. No, it said that you chazal la rosh. No, Mr. Bruce says if you don't say Amalcha Kaddish, he's not talking about the first night of Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> he talks about. I know, but he doesn't specifically. He said, this is a case. Where okay, if the mission Bura would say don't repeat, and Ramosha would say repeat, so you could say Sovi Brothers how can you lie in the mission Bura? What does Oscar say? <laughs> ah, this was a good one. Yeah. So I, it makes it more here, difficult this now. is the this is one of the biggest okay. problems of Suffolk bracha you can like get a hold of. Like it, yes. And uh, and this is the first minute of the year. So yeah. if there's one thing you remember this year, please try to remember to say the first number. Okay, now listen to this. I'm not done, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. What about Mara of the second night? Says Rav Moshe, it's Mestaber, that the second night, it's not any less than the rest of us. So you made tshuva. Hashem's already judging. So now, but, but says Rav Moshe, Achap. if we're going to make you go back because you forgot Melch HaKadosh, but I hold that the first night of Rosh Hashanah, you don't have to go back if you forget Hamel Chatadash. So if you're going to go back by, by forget when you forget Hamel Chatadash the second night, you're being mezalzel in the yachtif. <laughs> you hear this? If here you have a guy, the first night of Rosh Hashanah, you don't go back. You don't go back. Why? Because Hashem's not on the throne yet. But you say, well, by now already Hashem's on the throne. Why by now? Because you're saying today's a weekday? So today's the second day of Asar Simei Tshuva? Oh, but I thought today's Rosh Hashanah. So it's a mission. But maybe to go back would be Mazal and the Yom Tif. The same way if you say a weekday Shemana Esrei on the second night of Rosh Hashanah, you have to go back because otherwise it's like being Mazal and the Yom Tif. So too, if you forget Amel HaKadosh and you go back, that means you're saying that yesterday was Rosh Hashanah and today's not. That's also being Mazal and the Yom Tif. Or maybe do we say we're not worried about Zilzah Yamta because this is not a, such a common thing that a guy would forget a Melchah Kaddish the second night. Says Rav Moshe, the Chayodam doesn't say what to do. That implies that even the second night you don't have to go back. But, bottom line, Rav Moshe says the second night you should go back. That's it, okay? Now, listen to this. What if you daven Rosh Hashanah morning before Neitz HaChamach after Aloy Sashachar and you forget HaMelech HaKadosh in Shachras she says well in Shachras Hashem's already sitting on the throne but wait a second Ein Bezen Shomala right Ladin Elam Ken Kish Bezen Shomala Tachos when is Bezen Mekadosh HaKadosh after Neitz after Neitz but that's only the Chadchila. It's only the Chadchila. But do you ever they could do it before? But they never did it before. They only did it after. So it says Ramosha, here's a guy. He has to wake up early. Rosh Hashanah morning. And he forgot to say Melch HaKadosh. You don't have to go back. You hear how much a fan of Moshe is of Aveli Fasvalar. Not only if you forget Melch HaKadosh the first night of Rosh Hashanah, do you not have to go back. You don't even have to go back if you forgot it in Shacharis, if you died before Hanetz. 
Why? Why? Why he wants to daven before the net? Why? Yeah. He doesn't have to go to war, so he doesn't have to go to war. The, 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 the guy sits or in, in the early minute. He wants to jump the gun. <laughs> I don't know. Who daven before you, the net? He wants to be first in line. Elama, you'll say... That on Rosh Chodesh, what's the halach if, if you forget Yalav Yavai? Rosh Chodesh, Shacharis, you go back. You go back. Rosh Chodesh, you have to go back. You know why? Because B'Dievet, even though Bezin's not Mekadesh, the Chodesh, until Nates, B'Dievet, if they did, they did, it's good. <laughs> That's when you're dealing with Bezin Shomata. Bezin Shomata, B'Dievet, they could be Mekadesh, <laughs> the Chodesh from, from Alois HaShachar, even if they never did, but by the other they could. But since L'Charchila, they have to do it after Nates, they probably never did it before. That means Bezdin Shalmaila is always doing it after Nates. So therefore, Rabbi Moshe says it could be when it comes to Rish Chodesh, if you forget Yalav Yalva in the morning, the Yalav Yavai depends on Bezen Shomata. Bezen Shomata, B'diyeva, they could do it before an eighth. So therefore, if you forget Yalav Yavai, you're okay. Um, you're not okay. But Bezen Shomayla, Rabban Hashem is doing everything in the He's doing it after an eighth. So therefore, you could, you could um, argue that if someone forgot a Melch HaKadosh and down before an eighth, they don't have to repeat from an essay. However, says Ramosha, it's never less mistaber that you do have to go back because we're not going to start making different halachas for people who daven Shemayasai sure. before the nays and after the nays and says Ramosha bottom line the Tzorach Ian Katan the Tzorach Ian Katan Ladina so bottom line is first night of Rosh Hashanah don't forget don't forget your apple don't forget your honey and don't forget to say <laughs> don't forget Hakadu. yourself don't for- you've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com